TP-Link wants to introduce you to Amata Cloud Essentials. What is Amata Cloud Essentials, you ask? Well, it's their free cloud management software that is really designed for small offices, villas, big houses, hostels, and other small networks. The most interesting feature of OCE is the ability to quickly and easily set up hardware using zero touch provisioning, or what they're calling their hero feature. Let's take a look at how to do this by checking out the Amata app. I'm already logged into my Amata account, so I can go ahead and click on the add a controller button. Next, make sure that the Amata Cloud Essentials is already selected and then hit confirm. After it's done connecting, we can then start configuring our site. I'm going to leave all of these settings as default, but you can rename and change your country and time as required or needed. Now let's check the box for the terms of use and acceptable use policy, and then click on next. Now we can create our site. I will call my site SPX Labs. I'll leave the country and time alone. And for application scenario, I will select office. Then for the device account, you can set a local device username and password that will be used to log into the devices. This will be automatically assigned to each individual device when it is adopted by Amata Cloud. Here, you can set up your Wi-Fi SSID if you want to, or you can skip this part, and you can also enable guest Wi-Fi if needed. When you're done, click Next. This is the summary page that just shows us all the information we have previously put in. You just need to confirm it by hitting the Done button. Now from here in the app, all we have to do is go over to Devices and then hit the plus icon in the top right corner. And then we just simply need to scan the uh, barcode that's on the bottom of the device. Now this is, I guess, the model or right above the model number of that. And so it asks us to add the device. We can just say add device. We can add it to a site. So we only have one site to choose from and then we can click on next and that device is added. And it's currently showing offline, which makes sense because they're literally not unboxed. Now we're gonna click uh, on add another device. Oops. And we're going to add this as well. So we'll scan that. All right, click on add device again. So that's our switch. We're gonna add it to SPX Labs as well. And we're gonna add the final device, which is our VPN gateway. And we're gonna scan the barcode just above the model number, which is the device serial number, by the way. And then click on add this device. And of course, finally add it to SPX Labs again for the last time. And just like that, we've added all three devices. We see them listed here and they say that they're pre-configured. Um, let's see, if I go back to dashboard and go to the SPX Lab site, um, we have no devices connected, so that makes sense. Let's click on devices and see if we get any additional options. It just shows us the same list of devices. So within the same application, another cool thing we can do is click on the quick actions icon. It looks like uh, three cubes and a circle. So we click on that and we can also add additional devices. So we can add a device that's also already unboxed, been previously used, but not configured on any other site currently at the moment. And so just like that, I scan the SN, the serial number code. I can add this device. Now, if I had a different site, I could do that uh, from here. But in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to the SPX Labs uh, site again. And then if we click on the quick actions, we can also go back and change our SSID or add a second SSID. So if we wanted to, for instance, add another SSID, we could do that here and customize it however we see fit and change all the different settings as necessary. And there's a whole boatload of settings. It's just very quick actions that you can do. So we're gonna go back out of this if it will allow me to, yep, we'll discard. And so some of the other quick actions you can see on the screen are, you know, port reboot, your um, reboot specific ports. We have port isolation and then network wizard. With these devices added to our cloud controller, we can go ahead and just get them plugged in and set up so that way we can check out to see how the app is changed or affected uh, through this setup. So we're just gonna plug everything in and see what happens. Now going back to our app, you can see that we have two devices currently connected or that have shown up and we're probably still waiting for the access point based off of this um, homepage. So let's just go over to devices 
And yep, the access point is being configured. We can see that in the application right now. So we'll just let that sit for a minute and we will actually just go through and browse um, some of the options that we have within the application. So we can click on some of these to get more details and also change their configuration. We can see what ports are active, the current throughput of the devices, the model number, CPU utilization, which is 0% because nothing's actually happening, memory utilization, the serial number, and all sorts of other goodies. And then we can go back again. And let's actually go to the home page. We can click on alerts. So if we had any alerts or any events happening, uh, they would appear here. And we do actually have some events and we can see that things were being connected or failed to connect or was connected, whatever have you. So that's where we can see those types of events. So let's go back one more time. I think this is a pretty good introduction from getting devices that are in a box added to a site and also an introduction to the application itself. There's obviously a lot more you can do with that, but we're not gonna go into that in this video as this is just an introduction to the Amata Cloud Essentials. Amata aims to provide reliable, professional, and innovative one-stop solutions for small and medium-sized enterprise networking. It offers a comprehensive range of networking products, reliable solutions, dependable product quality, and trustworthy support services. The Amata ecosystem incorporates Wi-Fi products, managed switches, and security gateways, among other things, each fully controlled from a centralized management platform. Amata unmanaged switches and accessories are also provided for a wider and more flexible business applications. Amata products work together as one to provide you with a network solution that matches the needs of your business. With the Amata brand, of course you'll gain access to the cloud-based management software with features like zero touch provisioning that we showed off in this video, which is useful for network installers and integrators. There's also tech support teams that can be given access to your site to more quickly identify issues that you're experiencing and of course fix them. And because TP-Link is a global entity, you won't have any trouble finding devices locally or online thanks to their stable and sufficient inventory. Lastly, TP-Link Amata is offering a limited time opportunity for qualified users to trial the Amata Cloud Essential Solution for free. And as a part of this trial, you'll also be given a free EAP653 access point that will help you explore and learn about their Wi-Fi solutions. And there's a link in the video description below for that if you're interested in finding out more. I hope that you found this video insightful to what Amata is and also offers. And in case it wasn't already obvious to anyone out there, TP-Link did commission this video. And with that, I wanna thank each and every one of you for watching, and I will see you all next time. Peace.